We were looking at the, at the lessons and gaps of the process of the SLP project and uh, we found uh, some lessons and gaps which are actually linked. Uh, so we have, for example, uh, the main thing that we need that a project like this needs uh, somebody, like 100%, who takes it, to, to take care and move the project. Uh, so that means that we need also human resources, but uh, it needs some, some trade-off between coordination and harmonization and, and also mandating a bit uh, the process. So there should be flexibility for regions, but not too much, because that will just disperse us a bit. Uh, we also need, a, a, among, among ourselves, we need a common understanding of of what we are doing, so the tools we are using, why we are using them, that's something we learned actually. Uh, we need all, what we learn also. We need to uh, to build things that that is a knowledge sharing for for the different partners, for farmers and and, and local partners. Uh, also considering the local calendar of farmers, so weeding, uh, harvesting times. Uh, we need also when we are thinking about developing a tool, we need to consider farmers' knowledge about the uh, about about everything so that we the, ask them questions that they can answer and then that they can lost. Uh, well, related to all of these, there are still some gaps. Um, so we need to uh, kind of develop a framework to analyze the data uh, so that we can, we can analyze it again, keeping some flexibility between regions, but we need some framework at least. Uh, also, what we would need is uh, yeah, the, the the thing is also well ag again between regions. We also need to build better links between, for example, models and regions, but also the communication and and maybe resources exchange of information and actors as well between regions across regions uh, instead of just region central office CIA CIA the rest, but more communication between among regions. Uh, what we also need to develop. And related to the flexibility and not too much flexibility is a better work plan and a timetable between ourselves. Uh, but also we need the gaps, I think we need to build a, a better idea of what capacity building we want to build, well capacity we want to build with the local partners. And the most important thing is okay, uh, the research, pro the project goes until 2011, this big one. There is money for the third one but Third year, but we will see. Uh, but is okay. What are how are we going to to disseminate information? What are farmers going to get out of this? Are we going to work on interventions in terms of community, also to policy making, uh, and how f how we are how farmers are going to to uh, well to get so something out of this? And also related to that is that so far we have focused too much in the tools, so we are very efficient in going to the field. But we don't spend so much time in the field, so we we might get wrong data because farmers just see see us just getting three four hours, getting a villa survey, see you goodbye. So we are missing a bit the, their knowledge, and which and with that knowledge we can also build a better framework for analysis data. We can have a better access to information, uh, and so that's a quite important one that we are missing. One thing I would add is. I don't see any discussion of the process of developing this project and some of the iterations in terms of the thinking that went on through the process, whether we could have arrived at where we are now more efficiently or whether we really needed to go through some of those taking four proposals and trying to harmonize them into a single proposal. Was that a useful process or was it a waste of time? Could we arrived at where we got to more effectively using a different process? Perhaps I could add that we have been talking very much in, uh, about the process or the issues as they come. But whereas it is often more efficient if you start from the end. We do have our research questions, which we sometimes remember to think of. But the steps before the research, uh, which 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 would lead to the results, the analysis steps, we only have very rough ideas even now while we are developing the surveys. And it is a common problem with all projects, but I think it is still a gap. That we should, it is more helpful if you have a clearer idea of the analysis steps at an earlier stage so that we could be more efficient in our data collection. Because there's always the question we collect so much data, it is too long, do we really need all of it? And we cannot say without knowing exact, more exact or more precisely what we would actually want.